The one of the Hong Kong Sevens ninth place semi-finals is going to be Samoa versus Australia. Now, it was not too long ago that these two sides would have been playing off for third and fourth, but instead here, whoever wins this game has a chance of finishing ninth. The loser of this contest, they will not have another game in Hong Kong, but throughout this preview, we will be looking at previous fixtures, who were the try scorers in the last games for both teams, and then also a prediction at the end for who I think will be able to get themselves the victory. But we will start with Samoa's previous results. They did have their first game up against the Fijians, losing at 12 points to seven, a close game. They were on the wrong end of the result. Then another close game for the Samoans when they were defeated 26 points to 19 by Argentina, who have just been knocked out recently by New Zealand in the quarterfinals. So they will be going head-to-head -head up against Spain. Quite an awesome matchup that we will be getting to see. Then their third game of pool stages was up against Canada. They did win at 29 points to five, which then you'd feel was starting to build momentum into their ninth place quarterfinal match where they did find themselves head to head with Kenya. They were able to win at 26 points to 12, doing some good things throughout that match, the Samoans, which is why this game up against Australia, Bill could be quite a closely contested one. Looking through at Australia's previous results now. Their opening game of Paul C was up against the Japanese. They were able to win it 26 points to 5. And even though that is a relatively one-sided score, I think Australia would still be disappointed that they weren't able to put a few more points on the board over Japan, who do find themselves at the moment getting relegated out of the World Rugby Series. Looking at their next game, it was up against Spain. They did win at 12 points to 7. And we've seen from past games, including that game between Spain and France, Spain are no easy beats. So Australia doing well to get themselves the victory there. Their third game was up against the USA. Did not go well for the Australians at all. There were many errors being made. Possession was more in favor of the USA, and they were defeated 24 points to five in that contest. So going into their quarterfinal match, seemed like they wouldn't have that much momentum. They did play Hong Kong, China. Probably not the toughest opposition that they could have come up against, which is why they were able to win it. 22 points to five, but they are starting to get that momentum back in the winning column. But this game up against Samoa should be a very entertaining one indeed. Looking through at what happened in the most recent fixtures though, for these two sides, looking at the head-to-head -head in terms of try scorers and when the tries were scored, they're actually pretty much identical. The reason I say that, Samoa for instance, they had Tunatui Tama. He scored one try in the third minute. He had one try that he scored in the eighth minute. Then for the Australians, Nathan Lawson, he scored in the fifth minute and he scored in the seventh. The only Australian player and the only Samoan player to get themselves the double throughout their two games. Then Henry Patterson scoring for Australia in the eighth minute. Then Nick Maloof getting himself the last try in the 14th. Then for Samoa, Paul Scanlon scored in the sixth minute. And then in the 13th minute, it was Fa'afoi Falaniko who was able to get the final try. So both sides actually scoring a very similar way in their quarterfinal fixtures. Now moving through to this ninth place semi-final. I think both sides will score quite a few points throughout the match. It seems to be the big men who are having more success near the back end of the competition for Samoa and Australia, which is why pretty much those men that I just listed would be considered as all of the key players for their respective sides. Tuna Tuitama, the big size, that he offers Lawson, Maloof, both large individuals. Certainly some big hits coming just around the corner in this one. But now we're up to that stage of predicting a score. It's never easy to know how a Samoa versus Australia game will go. Normally in the past, it has been Australia who have got themselves victory. But I think because of Australia getting themselves on the slightly, what some would say, easier side of the draw, maybe they haven't been challenged enough yet throughout this Hong Kong Sevens, which is why I'm going to say that it will instead be the Samoans who get themselves the win here, and they will win it 26 points to 14. But do let me know your score predictions in the comments down below as well. We will be doing the live commentary for this game on the channel, so be sure to check that out also. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all for the next one.